Global navigation satellite systems or GNSS around the world are designed to improve navigation accuracy and coverage during all phases of flight. However, the GNSS provided data cannot be used as its, and they cannot be fully reliable due to position errors, clock errors, ephemerid, troposphere or ionospheric delays. So augmentation is necessary for the GNSS broadcasted data to improve the navigation data accuracy, reliability and availability. Satellite-based augmentation system is one of the GNSS augmentation methods which supports a wide range of augmentation with the help of external systems and messages using geostationary satellites and precisely measured ground stations. Most GNSS systems available globally already have geostationary satellites available as part of the satellite constellation to provide this service. SBAS improves the accuracy and reliability of GNSS information by correcting signal measurement errors and by providing information about the accuracy, integrity, continuity and availability of its signals which helps in reducing position errors below 1 meter. Many countries implemented their own satellite-based augmentation system. 1. USA – White Area Augmentation System 2. Europe – European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service 3. Japan, Multifunctional Satellite Augmentation System. 4. India, GPS Aided Geo Augmented Navigation System. 5. China, Satellite Navigation Augmentation System. 6. Russia, System for Differential Correction and Monitoring. So, how the SBAS works? International Civil Aviation Organization is creating guidelines for the satellite based augmentation system and related technologies. All the available SBAS systems globally are designed based on the common standards ARFACAO. These systems are interoperable to achieve coverage across the globe. Each satellite-based augmentation system contains three major segments. 1. Ground segment. 2. Space segment. 3. User segment. Ground segment mostly contains the reference stations, master stations and uplink stations. Reference stations receive the signals from GNSS satellites and geostationary satellites, decode the data, and send it to master stations. Master stations process the reference stations provided data and generate correction messages then send them to uplink stations. Uplink stations transmit the correction messages to geostationary satellites. Space segment receives the correction messages from ground stations and rebroadcasts the message to the user segment. User segment. In this case user segment will be aircraft equipped with GNSS and SPAS receivers to receive the GNSS data and correct messages from geostationary satellites to identify the precise location. Benefits. Satellite-based augmentation is designed to provide navigation guidance for all phases of flights. Also, SBAS can provide the ILS Category 1 equivalent approach for the majority of the runways where ILS approaches were not possible. Improved safety by providing precise navigation during all phases of flight. Increasing airspace capacity. Accuracy in navigation helps reduce the current aircraft separation restrictions and allows to accommodate more aircraft in the airspace. Improves operational efficiency, allow airlines to select a more efficient flight path for the day of operation, and it reduces fuel consumption. Allow ATC, airlines, and aircrew to have better air traffic situational awareness use in gym probe surveillance based on precise navigation data and global coverage. Reduced infrastructure. GNSS with SBAS will replace the traditional navigation aids and approach aids which reduce the infrastructure cost. Reduced environmental impact. More direct flights and reduced fuel consumption will reduce carbon emission coming out from aircraft. International Civil Aviation Organization working along with all countries to establish the required infrastructure to implement satellite navigation more efficiently. These systems and technologies will keep improving to achieve better navigation in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel.